be able to hear my voice and everything on that? Yeah, I'll That's show you one. too, and then maybe try to put it on DVD. Hmm. And uh, did you sleep more in your uh, youth than you do now? Oh yeah, I used to be able to sleep eight hours with no chill. <clears throat> How about now? Now I, I don't sleep as long as I used to. Hmm. Do you still sleep a full eight hours, or? No, I sleep about six, seven hours now. Really? When did you uh, start sleeping less? After you, my grandmother died, probably. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Do you just need less sleep too? Pardon? Do you need less sleep? Yeah, as I think well? so. Well, don't forget when I, when we first got married, and I was bowling and everything. Uh, we used to roll at 9 o'clock and I'd get at home at 1 o'clock in the morning, then I had to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. So I used to only get that Mondays. I used to get all, Tuesday I used to get about four or five hours sleep. Did that affect you at all during the week? No, it didn't bother me at all. I was young. I didn't need as much sleep as I did then. How long were you bowling for? I bowled for over 25 years. And was this after... Um after work, when you were working at Yeah. Union? And how long were you working at Union Special? 45 years. 45 years, and I gave you this grandfather clock. Right. And so you retired December 8th, 1992, and then when did you go back to work there for a little bit? About 1974 or something like that. That's when you started? Wait, when the heck did I go back to work? I forget when I went back to work. Was it 96 or 95 or 94? Nin I forget. You worked for a year and a half? Yeah, I worked a couple of years in that way. How old were you when you first started? How old was I? Yeah. 19. 19. When you first started working at Union Special? And how old were you when you retired? 65. Wow. So you worked about 43 years? 42 45 years, maybe not. I was 20 then, probably. Yeah. And you were uh, the manager there? I became a supervisor. How long did that take? I don't remember, about 10 years, probably. Did you start working there before you got drafted to the Korean War? Yeah, I was, in the, I was working there when I got drafted. And how long were you in Korea for? How long was I in service? Yeah. 21 months and 9 days. And you got out because you were in, <clears throat> you went to Korea and you were in a battle zone for nine months. You got out three months earlier. And so how did they approach you when you got drafted? Hey, they, they sent you were drafted. They sent a letter to you. They don't approach you at all. They, they sent a letter, you got to report to the board, draft board. Where was the draft board? I have no idea. Did you have to call or drive somewhere? I have no idea. Hmm. And so did they have any positions that you could check mark off what you wanted to do? Yeah, would they ask you what you wanted to do? And I said I wanted to be a cook all the time on all the application. Yeah. So then when I went in, then we went basic training for eight weeks, and then I went to cook school for eight weeks. Hmm. So about 16 weeks of training? Yeah. And how many people uh, were drafted at that time? I have no idea. And so you were there for 21 months, and what part of Korea were you in? I forget, though. I don't know. I don't remember where the hell I was. And how was, <clears throat> the, how was the environment in Korea? Well, well, I was there for the monsoon season where it rained for a whole month. Hmm. And I was there for the winter months when it was really cold. How much colder was it then? <laughs> really cold. Hmm. You used to sleep with your clothes, and it's a sleeping bag was so cold. And you were saying that the, the Korean boys used to come by, uh, by the tents, I think, or by your base, and they used to clean your boots or shoes and you guys would give them money? I yeah, yeah, like uh, houseboys, yeah. Hmm. I had five houseboys that took care of me. Hmm. And you said they were really nice? Oh yeah, really nice kids, yeah. yeah. And um, I remember you mentioning they really liked to eat burnt food. Huh? Like burnt food. Like, yeah, they liked their food burnt. Yeah? What did they if we eat? burnt anything in the kitchen, they would love it. Really? What would you make for them? 
We never made any special meal for them. But anything that was burnt, they... Yeah, anything that was burnt. They ate what we ate. Did they they like mostly fish heads and rice. Did they speak uh, English at all? Yeah, a lot of them did speak mm. English, sure. Did you learn any Korean when you were down there? The what? Uh, did you learn the Korean language at all? No, I didn't learn anything. And you said uh, the living conditions for them were a little different? Yeah, it was pretty rough. It's really rough for them. Yeah? And you said that the women were... Were filthy at that time. Of course, nowadays it's all changed. <clears throat> yeah, now they have... Uh, when I was in, in college and... Uh, oh, they're entirely different now. Yeah, they're, they really embrace uh, f femininity. And then there were, after about six months, you go, uh, they call it R&R. &R. They used to fly in, the, in these uh, flying tank cars, planes to Japan for five days. And you uh, took a little trip down there? Huh? You took a trip to uh, Japan? Oh, yeah, you got five days. Every soldier got a chance to go there. And you had to pick a special means, so I picked fresh milk and steak. Because we never had fresh milk, we always had powder milk or powder potatoes and stuff like that. What did you get to do when you were in Japan? You got to go visiting around all different places. I went to a place where I got a haircut. They did face massage and all that stuff. And when you took a bath, you washed outside. Then you get in really hot, nice hot water and soak in that after you, after you, take, after you clean yourself. Hmm. You don't wash in the tank in the same tank that you soak in. Hmm. What else did you? See? And they used human manure for fertilizer there. Yeah. So we couldn't eat none of their fruit, or vegetables, and stuff like that. Why not? Because it was human fertilizer. And you didn't want to. And eat our that. systems are not used to that. Hmm. Did anybody try anything? Any fruit that was? I there? have no idea. Did you see any? Uh, Forest at all in Japan, or any temples, or I don't remember any anywhere. architecture anywhere. Or? I don't remember. Go more to the cocktail lounges and stuff like that. Did you guys go into Tokyo at the time, or, or Kyoto? Or? I went to Kurokura. It's oh. a small little place. I I didn't go to Tokyo. Hmm. And how far did you go? Did you go anywhere else in Japan? No, that's the only place I went. And. Uh, you had a pleasant experience there one time? A what? A pleasant experience, you said? I had a lot of experiences there. Oh, you did? How many? <laughs> I don't remember. Oh. And uh, were the people very polite there? Yeah, they were really nice. Yeah. On the monsoon seasons, a lot of soldiers drowned. Really? How many drowned? I have no idea, but then after that, after that Every fair soldier had to go for swimming lessons. Hmm. Of course, I knew how to swim, so I didn't have to worry. Hmm. And uh, during, when you were in Korea during the Korean War, you said uh, a lot of your friends died during the war? No, yeah, they weren't friends. They were uh, soldiers that I met while I was in there. Two of our cooks got killed. And how did that happen? Bombs. Bombs. Did they bomb the area you were in? Yep. How'd you survive? Every Sunday afternoon at 3 o'clock they bombed us. So they were very... I don't know why, but every Sunday at 3 o'clock they, they threw bombs in about 3 or 4 artillery and then that was it. So every Sunday at 3 o'clock? How many straight weeks? I forget. Hmm. And so you avoided getting hit? Did you hide at that time at 3 o'clock? Well, big, big trenches by our, by our bunks. And so did you guys know this was going to happen? And you guys... Yeah, everybody took uh, cover then. They never switched the times at all? They never bombed on a Saturday or Friday? No, nope, just Sunday. And was this at 3 in the morning? Or? It was in the afternoon sometime. Yeah? And uh, how many guys would come and do this? I have no idea. How many Korean soldiers were there at the time? I have no idea. How about the United States soldiers? I have no idea how many. How would I know all that kind of stuff? Did you see uh, a lot of the soldiers that were coming in? Yeah, I knew in? a lot of soldiers. Were there a lot of them coming in to eat? Oh, yeah, we had to feed 200 soldiers. And how many cooks were there in, in the... I think three cooks. 
And and at one point, two of those cooks died. Yeah. And you were the lucky one to not. They get got them. killed. And so there was three cooks at the area you were in, and two of them died, and you survived. Yeah. And and how did they die from the bombs? I I forget that. I think no, they they took the cooks out of their code. They need extra soldiers on the line. Really. So they went on the line, and that's where they got killed. How did they get killed? I guess they got shot or something like that. We just heard that they got killed, that's all. Hmm. Did you get to see any war personally when you were there? Any, you know, the bombs go off? Did you? No. You, you never saw any explosions? Did you see any blood or any? No, I seen that when the bombs hit the ground, it exploded, yeah. Was it making a loud noise? Yeah. Yeah. How did you feel when all this was going on? I was scared. Yeah? Did you think you were going to die at any point? No, I never thought about it. What, what were you thinking about at that time? Boy, Jordan, I have no idea. What was it like, your, your um, you know, did you... Uh... That's all I know is I was scared. Mm -hmm.